Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your March 2022 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everyone for all the support you've given of the channel. I send you love and positive energy every single day, so we're always connected. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So today's reading will be a more detailed Celtic cross reading. And if you like the channel and you like tarot, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn, please. All right, so we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers oracle cards as well. Current situation, you've got the fool. Haven't seen the fool in a while. With the King of Cups, in your subconscious, you've got the Six of Pentacles. The distant past, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. The more recent past, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups is coming towards you. You're represented here by the Sun. The person or situation that you're attracting is the King of Pentacles. This is cool. You have the King of Wands in your hopes and fears. Seven of Pentacles in the outcome. Well, I like it. I'm going to tell you, you're manifesting a soulmate here. So the bottom of the deck, Jesus, these clarifiers, my gosh, um, you've got the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So before we get into this too far, let's read who's here. Um, we've definitely got water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got a nice earthy reading too. You've got all the elements and you also have Leo showing up here, two major arcana. And you've got a couple with the... Um, King and Queen of Cups, okay? It's, you've got a really strong love reading here. So if you've had a falling out with somebody, for those of you that's reconciliation, we got to put this negative Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords energy. That is not helpful for trying to restore a relationship. It's too aggressive, um, if that's what that is. For others of you, though, if it's a relationship that ended and you said it's never coming back, good, then that means it's done. And it may be one of those things where you're learning from it. You've learned a lesson, especially if it was a repeating lesson, which the universe will tend to do, keep giving us the same things over and over again. The Seven of Swords is poorly planned out. You know, you see the way he takes off with those swords. He brings nothing to carry him. He could have brought a bucket or something, um, but instead he takes off. It's poor preparation. It can be a card of deceit and malice and but it feels me, to me more clumsy and somebody who just really doesn't know who they are, all right? And with the Knight of Swords, boy, is that looking for honesty. So there may have been a big falling out with somebody who was dishonest here. Um, whether they meant it really in a nefarious way or not, I still feel like it got your dander up with that Knight of Swords. The Two of Wands, though, is a card of success. And twos, is, if it was a job-related thing, this Two of Wands is great because the Wands are great for career. And so the Two of Wands in career is like really being a visionary, putting together exactly what you want and, and taking the action to get it. You will increase in the Two of Wands. You've got the Two of Cups too, which is also great for partnerships, but it's more about love. And so if something ended, you're on the right path. You're on the right path to a new beginning here. So we love to see this with the Fool and the King of Cups. The King of Cups might be one of the most trustworthy energies you could be attracting. It's somebody that you can talk to about anything. You can trust them impeccably. They won't judge. They won't tell other people. They'll be there for you like a rock. And so with the King of Cups, it's an energy of pure love. Whoever this is, they are. They come from a very good place. Their intentions are pure. Their intentions are harmonious. 
The kings and queens are masters of the suit. So you have the masters of love here and of that really fabulous life. So do it, move forward with it with the fool because the fool is the beginner's mind. It's zero for pure potentiality. You're living in that field of um, potentiality. So anything is available to you. The fool has you releasing all the resistance, taking that leap of faith and saying, F it, I'm doing it. With the fool, you know who you are. You've learned, you've paid the price of contrast with that seven of swords, knight of swords combo. You hold your past experiences in that bag slung over your shoulder by a magic wand. You know what they are, but you don't live there. So with the fool, you're also very non-judgmental. You attract new opportunities. That's, there's freedom and a new happiness. There's also a wonderful sense of adventure. So you've kind of, you've learned what you needed to so that you're not guarded when you go into a new relationship. And so with this, I mean, when we look at it, there's so many beautiful cards here, but when we look at this king and queen and we pick up your energy, which is the sun, you've got the two of cups, which would be lovely too here. You've definitely got something that's moving forward that is robust and beautiful. It's real happiness. There's, there's true joy and love in this reading. So with the six of pentacles here in your subconscious, you may be somebody who's inclined to helping others. The six of pentacles is all about reciprocity and a give and take. It also might be a strong desire to attract relationships that are balanced, that are even if you have differences about you, that you balance each other out. So it's not one of these relationships that seems really strange. You know, with this, there's enough of a harmonious energy here. It also could be needing financial stability. You know, in terms of your own sign, you're an ambitious sign. You like financial security. And this earthy energy that surrounds you is fantastic for you because it's going to have you feeling confident and secure. It's going to have you in a high vibrational place. So when you go out, you'll attract people who are a match. And we always do. And you want to be in a high vibrational place. Otherwise, when you're attracting, it can be something that isn't very sustainable. So the Ten of Pentacles is in the distant past. You may have had a very fortunate turn of events with career and money, um, even an inheritance I get for somebody. That Ten of Pentacles is a card of wealth. It's a card, though, where the Pentacles, you know, reigns money in the tarot. And, and with the Seven of Pentacles that we have later, money also grows on trees. Pentacles are about money, but they're also about manifesting. So if it's a new relationship and you've already met the person, you are in the field of manifesting right here. There's a This is a card, though, too, of having appreciation. So even if things weren't, you know, exactly perfectly going along as you would have designed them, you still had enough appreciation for what you do have that new opportunities keep showing up, new doors open. And it feels like it's this momentum starts to build with this because this is really an energy of brilliance and dominion. It's beautiful. It's a cycle that really carries through too. So with the Queen of Cups, you've got the emotional stability, but you also have this energy too of self-improvement, investing in yourself, wanting to be a great life partner, really choosing love in your life, choosing it. If you haven't know, you know, you've been more surrounded by money and thinking about bills and finances and stuff, it's time to choose love with this one. The Queen of Cups too brings in a gentleness into a love relationship and understanding a compassionate heart. She's also very intuitive. So meditate, quiet the mind and allow the universe to speak to you allow yourself to get those intuitive hits and then you take the action with some of the kings that are over here you do have three kings here which is really cool as well it's like you got a really powerful reading here capricorn so with this queen of hearts you're going to be connected with somebody on a soul level a deep level and it's the kind of love where people around you get caught up in it they love you together they think you're the best couple it's like they just feel like this is right. Thank God you have each other. Like they're happy to see you be in love. And so with the two of cups, it's definitely a soulmate connection coming in. And do soulmates push your buttons at times? Yes, they do. But with the two of cups, you stay in alignment so that you don't have problems. You don't start criticizing each other. You celebrate each other. And with the two of cups, it's an absolute connection. It's a mutuality. It's coming together and both of you have that same desire to be head over heels in love and nothing's going to stop it. You know, there's something here 
that has you drawn to each other. There's magnetism. Now, in a job too, though, this is a you've got nice energies for partnerships and career expansion. It can also be like loving your job, loving the new opportunities that are coming in, especially if you change jobs, especially with the fool being here, that can indicate a new career path, a new job, and it's one where you're wide open to accepting opportunities. And so the sun has you feeling awesome. With the sun, nothing can stop you. You wave that banner of victory. It's everything coming together. The sun is a card of synergy, though, too. So again, you won't want to have people who aren't a match. You won't lower your standards for them. You won't lower your vibration. Even at work, work life, if you have, if you own your own business or you have something where you have to get some choice on who you partner with or accounts or things like that, you will be drawn to certain people and the others, you, you may find you just won't work with them. I'm just going to be blunt about it. Um, because with this, the sunflowers point towards the sun because they have an energetic connection. They're synergy. When the sun goes down, they point towards one another because they still feel that energy. It's high vibrational stuff with this. This is a true joy, happiness, and absolute freedom. It's, it's fabulous energy. You're going to feel like you're on top of the world being in the sun energy because that represents your energy. So whoever you're attracting here, they also live in prosperity and abundance. The King of Pentacles is covered by all these grapes because it indicates his abundance. And so with this, this person may be very financially successful. They may have a lot, high degree of education and be somebody who, even if they might have a bit of student loan debt, they're paying it off, okay? This is not somebody who's in you know, foreclosure and they've had their defaults on their student loans. This is somebody who takes care of business. Um, but they've got a deep level of humility too. So they're very nice to be around because they're not arrogant. They're not telling everyone about everything they have and showing everything off. They have a quiet confidence about them. But again, they're, what their home life is, is really imperative. That is an imperative part of who they are. It's not just all about the money. They like stability in all areas. And it may be a person who's very balanced, like they take good care of their body. They take care of their money but they take care of the people around them too. This can be a very generous energy too. So if it's a boss, you may find this is one of your favorite bosses. So the king of wands comes in and has you magnetic. You have a lot of charisma with this, but it could also be who you're attracting. A high level of leadership capabilities come with the king of wands. He also though is surrounded by great people. I mean, he, he attracts people. It's having an ability to you know, find those matches, but then take the time to grow them, to grow those friendships. The wands are upwardly mobile in the tarot. And so with career too, you're always expanding your career. It, with the king of pentacles here too, it can also be expanding your house. So those of you that are looking for a new house, you're gonna, you're never gonna tire of the process. You don't get down and out with this. This is the one where you pull yourself up and keep going no matter what. He can be a bit like that towards other people though too. So if you have a partnership here and your partner wants to take a break from house hunting or doing other things that you're focused on, you might have a hard time with that because this, you won't want to do it. You'll want to keep moving forward. So with the seven of pentacles, sevens are about successful conclusions. This one, you may have been waiting for a while and wondering when is this going to happen? Well, here it is now. You're going to start seeing the manifestations cultivated from the garden of the mind. This is where the money actually does grow on trees. Some of you may find it in the simplest ways. I see somebody pulling like $20 out of their pocket. And it could be like in a, a coat you haven't worn in a while. And those are those mini synchronicities. Those are those bridges of incidents, we call them. They're co-incidents. They're co-occurring incidents because they're telling you you're manifesting. So I do feel like in terms of being on the career path, you're on the right track with this. Um, you're going to be able to use your creativity too with the energy of the fool, but also it brings in stability into your home life too. So relationship that moves forward with structure, security, and it's alignment. Sevens are about triumph, but they're also about alignment. So let's see here what the angels have to say for Capricorn. What a beautiful reading though. I mean, especially with those clarifiers, I really do feel like they're about leaving the past behind and moving into something that's so much more robust and stable. All right, what else does Capricorn need to know, please? 
messages for Capricorn. Okay. You have recovery, mind, body, spirit, recovery. So with all these pentacles, those are also about the physical body. So anything with, we don't use tarot for medical advice, but with health, it may indicate an upswing for you. No need to worry, they say. Of course not. You're the creator of your own universe, so you can have, do, or be anything. Listen to your own intuition. That came up already. It's going to be important for you. And you've got a year from now, but don't let that freak you out. It doesn't mean... Uh, you know, oh my God, nothing's going to happen. It may be something even into July where it really starts to show up as, yep, this is manifesting. I see this because you have a yes. So good things are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you and I'll be back again soon.